For the majority of our development work, we're going to use a graphical tool called the Groovy Grails Tool Suite. I'm choosing this tool because it's identical on every platform, so whether you're developing on Windows, Mac, or Linux, you'll be able to follow along and everything will look the same. You get this tool right off of the Grails website. So no matter what platform you're on, just go ahead and open up your browser and go to www.grails.org. From there, you can go to their products and services menu, and the first item on there is the Groovy Grails tool suite. So this is the home page for that product. Just scroll down until you see the download GGTS link. Click on that. And instead of clicking right on the download button, go ahead and click on See All Versions. This will let you choose the right version for your operating system. So I'm going to scroll down here, and as you can see, there are different versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And it's really important that you choose the right version. As I look at Windows, choose the newer version of Eclipse. I've got both 32-bit and 64-bit versions, and on each of those I've got an executable and a zip version. Now I have 64-bit Windows and 64-bit Java installed, so I want the 64-bit version and the executable one because that has the install file. Same thing on Mac and Linux. As I look at those, they've got executable versus just zipped versions, so you'll want to choose the one for your correct operating system. And by the way, just about all Mac operating systems, at least for the last three versions, are 64-bit, and then Linux has the same choice here. So again, we'll choose the executable version, grab it right here, and I'm just going to download it to my desktop as I've been doing. It's a pretty good size file, so just go ahead and let it download. All right, well, once you have that, we can go ahead and start the installation. Close my browser for now and double click on the file. Just use whatever method you need to execute the file. I'll say yes to move forward. And pretty much on all platforms, the installation is the same. And we'll use almost defaults for everything. So we'll click next to get going, accept the license agreement, and then we'll select the installation path. So I'd like to put this in that Grails directory we created earlier, which is kind of our project directory. If you're on Mac or Linux, you'll probably want to create a directory underneath your user directory, which is just users followed by your name, and just call it Grails. That's where we're going to put all of our project files. So I'm just going to change this to Grails backslash GGTS, which is for the Groovy Grails tool suite. And that way, this will be in the same place as all of our Grails libraries and our application that we create. So I'll click Next. It'll create the directory. And then it'll ask what you want to install. Now, the tool suite also comes with a version of Grails. It typically isn't the very latest, though, because it's on a different development cycle than Grails itself. So we've already installed Grails. So I'm just going to uncheck Grails and leave everything else checked. Click Next. And on the Windows install, you need to tell it where Java is installed. The Mac and Linux environments don't ask this question because they're a little bit better at understanding where Java is. But on Windows, we'll just need to click Browse. Just go to your computer. It's on our C drive, under Program Files, under Java. And just like we did before, when we set up our environment variables, we'll choose the JDK. OK, we'll choose Save and Next. If that was correct, then this will continue on. If not, you'll get an error saying that the Java version isn't there or it doesn't match what you're installing here. Once we're finished, we'll just click Next one last time, and then it'll ask if you want some shortcuts, and that's just fine, so I'll click Next. And then finally, I'll go ahead and launch it so we can take a quick look. It'll take you back to their web page just to give you some more information about the suite. So I'll close that, and I'll just let this open up. It's a little sluggish at the very beginning, but it'll speed up once we've opened it more than once. Now it will ask you where you want to create your project files. And these are all the application files that we're going to create in this course. Again, I want to put these inside of that Grails directory. So I'm just going to put it underneath C colon Grails. Again, on the Mac or on Linux, put it under your user directory in that same Grails subdirectory. I don't want it to keep asking me that every time I open it, so I'll check that box and then click OK. And this is the way it looks when it opens. It'll give you some tips. If you don't want to see these every time, you can just close that. And this is the Groovy Grails Tool Suite dashboard. So this is the environment we're going to use to build our project.